Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Premier League. Today it's Liverpool against Manchester City. What a big day. The league title could be won here today. Stay glued to your screen. This could be dramatic for the home fans. Let's head straight off to Anfield right now. It is a glorious day. Beautiful, clear conditions. Your commentary team is Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. It's match time. Martin Tyler here and Alan Smith with you as always to describe it. And we're looking forward to something special today. Well, I think so, Martin. I hope these two teams won't disappoint us. Well, with the rise of Manchester City, with the money that they've been getting from the, the Middle East, their games against the traditional top sides become more and more important now. And here we have City against Liverpool today. No, that's right. I mean, everybody's having to cut the cloth with the financial fair play regulations and City are aware of that more than most, but they've got a really good side, as have Liverpool, it has to be said. This is the Liverpool side. Simon Mignolet starts in goal. Martin Skirtle starts alongside Daniel Agger in the heart of the defence. In attack, Daniel Sturridge partners up front with Ricky Lambert. Manchester City's lineup today. Joe Hart starts in goal. Vincent Company starts with Martin Di Michelis as the centre-backs. David Silva plays today with Sami Nasri looking to provide width. In attack, Sergio Aguero joins up front with Edin Dzeko. Well, this is the day of destiny, Alan, isn't it? The title is there for them. Win the game, win the silverware. That's all you can ask for, isn't it? I mean, what more motivation do you need? Go out and do it. Well, this is it, the last game of the season. But they know what they've got to do. Yeah, and the target could not be clearer. It's just how they approach that challenge, whether they get nervous or not. Skirtle. Daniel Agger. John Flanagan. I think it was a foul. The referee straight away has blown for it. I think the referee is just trying to tell the players with this decision and the use of the yellow card how he expects them to behave. So often we see later on in a match where that same player gets sent off. Let's hope it doesn't happen here. That's a real tussle for the ball. Jordan Henderson. Steven Gerrard. Got to cross it. Decent cross, but even better defending. For Liverpool. A test today, opposition that really is of their own calibre. Yeah, I think that would have been the message in the dressing room. We've got to be right at it. Brilliant opening. And it's Ricky Lambert. Clean tackle. It'll be a throw. No nonsense clearance from the defender. Jordan 
Henderson. Will that be a throw? John Flanagan. Steven Gerrard. It was Steven Gerrard's international swan song, playing in the World Cup finals in 2014. Joe Allen. This is certainly going to be within their range now that the free kick has been given. And Manchester City pick up a yellow here. Yeah, and it was a silly challenge, mistimed. Circumstances for a player at this level, you would hope that he, he can work the keeper there. That is a tackle and a half, and it's Ricky Lambert. To the wingman. He's taken on his man and beaten him. It will be fair throw. Martin Di Michelis. Silva. And it's passed back again. He's gone and got it, Glenn Johnson, and he sprints away with the ball at his feet, and he made a very successful challenge. This could be it. Here's the chance. Well, the keeper got a touch to it to make the save. They're taking up their positions now to deal with this corner when it comes in. is equal to the task, really. That's a decent challenge by the opponent. Yaya Toure intervenes. And it's Ricky Lambert. People will come out and collect that. Well, they've got 45 minutes left, Alan, haven't they? 45 minutes in which to try and turn this around. As it stands, they won't be champions. No, well, they haven't quite been good enough, have they, so far? Certainly not played how they have for most of this season. First half, then, with the scores level, and hard to predict who's going to push on from here. Yeah, it is. I mean, I don't think either side have played to their full potential. Maybe the manager's influence at half-time can work with one of them. So we've reached half-time, and the game is scoreless. Let's take a look at the highlights from that first half and then we'll be straight back to your commentary team for the rest of the game.
a second half which we hope, Alan, will be better than the first. Well, it only be much worse, to be fair. Uh, both managers had a bit of work to do in that dressing room. Uh, let's see who gave the better team talk. the ball forward it's a Manchester City oh the possibility here for Manchester City Adam Lallana Joe Allen Colorado with Liverpool and it's Ricky Lambert stopping the pass getting through with a good piece of anticipation Jordan Henderson played to Glenn Johnson that would have been a terrific goal and it was a pretty good effort nonetheless fine try from a fair way out he has scored from those kind of distances, not this time. Tackle goes in, and there's still a challenge coming into Danny Sturridge. And it's Ricky Lambert. What a chance here, in with a chance. Really well hit, and the keeper did well to get down to it. That will be Liverpool's throw in. Skirtle. Sacco. Substitute for Manchester City. Joe Allen. Glenn Johnson. Now back to Gerrard. Skirtle. Steven Gerrard. Daniel Sturridge. For Manchester City, they've decided to just dig in defensively. Alan Smith. Well, I know in some parts of the world they call this tactic lock-up shot. We know it more as parking the bus, but it's the same end result. Just try and see this one out defensively. Got to be. Just as well someone got in the way of that. He's taken a touch from the player to go over the line. Stephen Gerrard will take the corner. Well, here was a chance for him to make a real impression in the wide areas, um, but he's being substituted now, and I think the crowd, by the sound of it, quite happy to see the back of him. Yeah, well, I don't think his fullback will be because he had him in his pocket, but no end product from this lad today. Poor day for him. Defended at all well, so it was the chance taken well. No, and they will be relieved because they switched off the defenders there. I feel a bit of sympathy for the, the forward who's coming off. He hasn't done great, but sometimes you know the defenders get tired, you work them around, and you, you get your chances later on in the game. And he's not going to be on the pitch later on today. No, I mean, he had one or two chances during the course, not good chances. But he snatched at them, and it wasn't going to be his day, I don't think. Alan, what sort of advice would you be giving to the players to deal with the pressure of going for a title like this? You've been a winner. Here he is with a chance. Here's the chance. Goodness me, it's hit the post. Well, they know their positions here. They know their jobs defending this corner. And what did you make of that attempt from Lalana? Man, he's just thumped it, hasn't he, from close in against the post. A missed opportunity. Keeper from the corner. Vincent Company. It certainly wasn't any weakness in defence. The company, a, a key man, of course. It's 
stop Belgium going further than the quarter-finals. It's just they couldn't score enough goals in Brazil 2014. Still tied here, and Liverpool looking to change that and get in front. It's going to be a substitution. It's going to be Manchester City to make it. And he's got his block in, and the cross doesn't get into the middle. Liverpool will get the throw. It's a change here, and I think it might be a tactical one. Number six. Italy. Steven Gerrard. Glenn Johnson. And a game of few chances. That really was an opportunity. Yeah, and what a glaring opportunity as well. It was a horrendous miss. Well, he's hit it hard enough, but not quite low enough. <laughs> it would have been a worldie that, and uh, he is capable of it, but not today. for them Alan they wanted so much to win that league title they can't do it now no they invested so much effort into it over the course of the last 10 months and well it's so deflating to be in this position before Alan you you can't take for granted you'll ever win anything again so when you do get a winner's medal as they're getting here and celebrating just drink it in milk the moment it's easy to think that the good times will keep on rolling but it's not always the case I think these players appreciate that it's been a brilliant occasion all credit to the organizers for the way it's staged, it sets it up, it makes it such a theatre for these football performers to go on. And this team didn't fluff their lines, did they? They certainly didn't, and that's so satisfying as a professional. You can look back to your big moments, the big occasions, and know that you played your part, you played well. Good team, aren't they? And I think there's only better times ahead for this group of players.